us persecuted white men have been replaced. It's official, it's happened. Holly Weird has taken us down. Where do I begin? I guess I was sleeping for the last few years. Tons of comments, hundreds telling me, Adam, wake up! There is an agenda on Hollywood and it's to get rid of white men. I didn't want to believe it at the time, but it has to be true. Why else would a bunch of middle-aged white guys with hats and shades on with an American flag in the background say things like that unless it was factually accurate? If people are lying on YouTube, I don't know what the reason could possibly be. There's no way they're doing that. This is all factually accurate. I didn't blindly listen to what I thought at the time was a false narrative. No, instead I did research. I looked back at the films that have been released the last couple years, and I was incredibly shocked by what I was finding. So, I'm gonna go through the recent popular updates of 2022, maybe we'll spill into 2021, and you can see for yourselves that there's definitely an agenda here, and the white man, we're being phased out. Unrelated, but if you have a hard time picking up on obvious sarcasm, you might want to check out different videos than this one. Okay, let's dive in. As of recording this video, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is in theaters. And yeah, it has a white male lead, but it also has a female lead in it. It's Wanda. And let's be honest, she's pretty much this movie. Doctor Strange was sidelined in his own film for the woke agenda is what I'm told, and now I totally see it. Because when I was watching the film with my family, uh, we were all sitting there thinking at the time, hey, this is a fun, empty calorie movie. But after reflection, I definitely see that, yep, Doctor Strange, I mean, wow, he, he was in it a lot, but, but was he in it a lot? Wanda was in it a lot too. And so I think there's something going on there. There's definitely something happening. What else did the MC release this year? Oh yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home. And I know what you're thinking, Adam, there's three white protagonists there. We got three Spider-Mans in this movie. Yeah, at the end, but let's be honest with ourselves. Most of the film was propping up Zendaya. She had all the good snappy one-liners. She was perfect in the movie. And what did Tom Holland do besides screw up the entire thing? And Doctor Strange screwed it up too. Guess who didn't screw anything up? Zendaya. This is another problem. White man bad mentality. I'm sick of it, Hollywood. I'm sick of it. And yes, the other Spider-Man did help fix it. But hey, it wouldn't have been broken in the first place if Zendaya was in charge. I rest my case. On the DC side of things, we have the Batman. And yes, I know, it's another huge film with a white male lead, but there is Catwoman in it and she's black. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. And she has a decent amount of screen time in this thing. So it's just another example of the Hollywood agenda taking over. Catwoman was white in the past and also black a couple of times too, but it's more pronounced now because it's in 2022. So now I look at that and say, yep, there, there's, this is on purpose for reasons. Oh, and let's not forget that in this three hour movie, there was a single line that shook the foundation we stand on. Something about white privilege. How dare you? How dare you? Honestly, I didn't really think about it at the time because Catwoman said it's Batman. It was like a jab at him, which was kind of funny. But then I was triggered by people tweeting and posting comments about it. And then I thought, wow, yeah, I didn't think about it that way. We're the victim. I should have known that. Then there was The Northman, a phenomenal film featuring a couple white lead actors. Great, right? Great. Except for no one saw the movie. And that was intentional because Holly Woke didn't want us to see the movie. They are trying to push a specific agenda that says, look it, movies that used to work don't anymore. Now we have to have black cats and, and blue dogs and everything else but white. And I'm offended. I'm just so sick of what's happening with the agenda. What else came out? Uncharted. Okay, yes, yet another white lead and a secondary white supporting actor. But uh, the bad guy was a guy because that's what we do now. Every movie, the bad guy has to be a guy. 
and usually it's a white guy. In this case, it was Antonio Banderas, so not quite, but then in actuality, he gets killed and it's a black woman, a strong female lead. It's about time, right? Wrong! Not even Antonio Banderas was competent enough to be the villain. A woman had to step in and show him how it was done. Typical Hollywood. What else came out recently that was a big title? Oh yeah, The Adam Project on Netflix, starring Ryan Reynolds. He's incompetent and unlikable the entire film. The only person that is likable, Zoe Saldana. How shocking. She has two minutes of screen time, and she's more likable and enjoyable than the rest of the cast that's mostly white people. Makes me sick what they're doing to us. I don't even know what's on the horizon that stars a white guy anymore. Maverick, I guess, with Tom Cruise, yeah. Um... Jurassic World Abomination, or whatever that new garbage is called, with Chris Pratt. So, yeah, I guess they're still... But they'll probably get sidelined in their own movie, because that's what they do in Hollywood. They sideline the white man. It's just pathetic. I'm so sick of it. Look at all these examples I've given you recently of films that, yes, all starred white guys and are, like, hugely big movies but there was things that I could find and poke holes that could maybe lead down a couple roads and I could say, yeah. I mean, man, there's stuff happening. Okay, time to bring out the big guns. I have my computer with Letterboxd opened on 2022 and I'm just gonna read down this entire row in order and we're gonna see how many of these films star white men or however many of them star totally different things. At the point we're going, the Batman 3 is gonna have him identify as a chicken or a transgen or who knows what. I, I mean, the whole world is, is a ball of fire and we're just trying to stay cool. Anyway, listen to this row, Jackass Forever. Most, mostly white. Uh, Harry Potter, the crimes, whatever the Dumbledore crap movie was called. Okay, mostly white. That Nicolas Cage movie, the, the massive talent one. Um, yeah, okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, I didn't see the house. So who? that's probably all women. Probably an all women film. I didn't see it. Or I didn't see Kimmy. But on the cover, it looks like it's Catwoman again. The new Catwoman that no one liked. Morbius? Okay, well, you know what? That's legitimately the only great movie on there this year. That, that was one of the better movies I saw in 2022. Sonic 2. There, we, there you have it. Typical. Jim Carrey, one of the greatest talents, is a background villain. So that a blue character and a red character and all the colors of the rainbow can be front and center. Clearly, this is some SJW nonsense. The Lost City with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. Brad Pitt, so, okay, uh, Ambulance with Jake Gyllenhaal, White again, fuck, uh, Deep Water with Ben Affleck and Ana de Armas, I don't know what she is, I don't know, but she's a, she's a woman, so, <laughs> I'm not really making a point here. Man, I feel like when there's videos posted multiple times a day by dudes wearing hats in their car yelling about how they're being persecuted for 45 minutes straight, they have more cogent points. But now that I like look at this and do the research, it's almost like it's total bullshit. And there's plenty of representation for us persecuted white guys out there. But, but you're saying, Adam, Adam, Disney's playing by a different playbook. They're completely lost now. Well, I already pointed out a couple of them that came out. The Eternals has A Walk of Every Life. That movie's just not very good, but uh, I guess we could go there if you want. But what about Thor? Chris Hemsworth is Thor. He's being replaced by Natalie Portman. And how many times has he even got to play the character, really? Thor 1? Thor 2? Thor 3? Avengers? Avengers 2? Age of Ultron? Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, Thor Love and Thunder, but that's the one where at some point he's probably or maybe being replaced is what I'm told by Natalie Portman, um, who's looking as jacked as Abby does in The Last of Us 2, and that also triggers me that she has bigger muscles than I do. That That's just not fair. I mean, that's not right. That's not natural. And so I'm offended by that as well. I guess what I'm saying is Chris Hemsworth barely got to play the character. Only like nine times, plus some web shows and other spin-offs, but still. Obviously, I'm being incredibly sarcastic. I don't believe a word of what I'm saying. I think it's insane that people believe this shit. 
And even if something is going on in Hollywood to course correct some of the bullshit practices in the past, that's exactly what it is. It's course correction, okay? But at the end of the day, they know what sells, they know what works. Your precious white male driven films aren't going anywhere. We still have our John Wicks. We still have our Mission Impossibles. They will probably at some point ruin Die Hard and cast a younger character actor to play him. We still have our James Bond movies. And yes, the last one proved that he wasn't replaced by a strong female lead. You can say I'm woke. You can say I'm white knighting. I've heard it all a million times. I don't care. I just want to watch movies. And all this other noise that's on the internet is really just starting to piss me off. It's pathetic. It's sad and pathetic. And the people that make these comments need to actually look at what's happening for themselves instead of just listening to these absolute douchebags go online clearly snake oil salesman clearly trying to get your money and your views by drumming up controversy that's not there just look at the movies coming out most of them i listed had white dudes in them and yeah i didn't i didn't go over all of them obviously there's other movies that came out like everything everywhere all at once which the best movie I've seen in like the last five years didn't have many white people in it. But oh my God, you know, like who gives a shit? As long as the movie's good, I don't care. It's the scripts we should be bothered by. The hacky writing. Has there been hacky films that have come out trying the whole gender swap thing or being very on the nose with commentary? Of course. Again, bad writing don't chalk it up to the entire industry has been destroyed it's fallen on its face they don't know what's going on anymore i just listed off a ton of films that don't have any of that stuff going on whatever that is but of course i also presented it in a way that shows i can make anything into an issue and that's what these guys do whenever i post a video like this there's always the concern that i'll lose some subscribers that's okay I don't want people that are so close-minded that they can't just think for themselves. Um, at least you heard some of the facts from me and you can determine yourself what's really happening. I think it's just movies as usual. In fact, I've been watching a lot of older films lately and they have commentary in them as well, like Speed or Demolition Man or films I saw when I was like 10 or 12 and didn't really think about them at all. There's always like one or two lines that the writer throws in uh, with some of his social commentary, some of his viewpoints, or her viewpoints, is mostly men. But that's fine. That's art. Right? That's that's being creative. That's being that's putting yourself out there. It's when people are so on the nose that I just find very hacky. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new, maybe think about subscribing, sticking around. I promise I don't post the same video every single day, complaining about the same bullshit every day. I love watching movies. I love watching television shows. And I really like talking about the good and the bad ones, having some fun with it. So stick around if you're new. If you are a subscriber, please stay. I'd love to keep you here. Like the video if you had a good time, tell your friends and family about the channel, and hopefully I'll see you around. Yeah, yeah mom, I, I know, I know. The Loki show had a female Loki in it, she basically steamrolled him. They didn't even mention Vision in the Doctor Strange film. Not a peep about him. Wanda's love. What an injustice, mom. I know, I know. I'm just scared, mom, for me as a critic too. What if I wake up tomorrow and I don't see a bunch of white guys talking about films? That's really, that's really scary. All right, anyway, um, this was a long message. Call me back when you get this and, and we'll talk about it. Okay, bye.